fuck COVID. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's all I gotta say, to be honest. Um, hi, it's been a while. <laughs> it's been... It's been a long while. <laughs> it's been a fucking real hot minute. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, it's... This isn't gonna be my grand, glorious return. I should probably have my last uh, throat lozenge, actually, because my, uh, my throat is fucked. Oh, I don't want to, because I got a nice cup of tea at the moment. Um, fuck me. <laughs> fucking hell. Fucking hell. COVID. Yikes. Fuck COVID. <laughs> Fuck COVID. That's, that's all I got. <laughs> it's... God, it's awful. God. Like... Sorry you've been feeling so shitty, man. Hope you're at least feeling a bit better. A little bit. Well, a lot, actually. Um, I'm still not... I'm still not fully there. Like, you'll see... You'll see a lot that I have to kind of, like, catch my breath, just, like, usually, like, in the middle of a sentence, more so than I used to have to. Like, I'm not having as many breathing problems, um, but I'm still having a lot of breathing problems. I'm still having a shit ton of breathing problems, um, which really sucks, because, as you all know, uh, GDQ submissions opened up yesterday, um, <laughs> which, <laughs> fuck, <laughs> like, Never been more unprepared for GDQ submissions ever, and then I've got to do it on top of trying to trying to recover from this, which sucks. Um, but I'll um I'll go through I'll go through what this last week has been like because this last week has been nothing but hell. Um, again, if anyone like, and again, I know there's some people that can't, <clears throat> obviously, but if you can get the vaccine, please get the vaccine. Like it. I said before, I said before that if I ever got COVID, it would likely be, it would likely be the end of me. And honestly, if I didn't have the vaccine, I would probably be dead right now, to be honest. Um, there was one day in particular that was not good. Not deceased. Um, really, really not good. Um, ah. Uh, since then, it's been a lot better, which is nice. Uh, these have been giving me fucking life, let me tell you. Holy shit. This and chicken stew. <laughs> hey, Fru. Hope you are starting to get a little better. Stay strong, Nico. Hard Jeff Love. I'll thank all of you in a second, because this support right now is absolutely insane. Um, had your free shots already? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I had my free, because, dear God. Like, so... Oh, that's hot. Oh, that's hot. So before we begin, um, I'd like to bring up, uh, I'd like to bring up the last VOD. The last stream that we did, uh, which as you will see here, uh, I was highlighting my VODs for, um, YouTube. So this is the last one we did. Uh, you won't see any Strange Paradise spoilers, don't worry if you're still playing through that. Um, this is what we said at the very start of the stream. Oh, I hate myself. <laughs> I hate myself so much. Oh, it's actually gone through, hold up. You will see a couple of spoilers, hold up. Sorry, I went, I went forward a bit in time. Uh, where's the start of the bomb? Right. Get a hot load of this. Good afternoon, hopefully everybody Free is brief. doing well. Uh, I'm a little under the weather today. Um, a bit more under the weather than I was yesterday. I seem to have picked up a small cold overnight. Um, my mum came home yesterday with a small cold. No, it's not the C word. Don't panic again. I'd be you'd know if it was the C word. I would be panicking, and I would be panicking a lot. Um, considering with my with my lung issues, that getting that would probably be very unwell for me. Um, but yes, it is time for another day stream. Uh, I've slept a lot. Simple's love. <laughs> yeah, as it turns out, it was the C word. <laughs> as it turns out, it was indeed Corona. <laughs> yeah. Um, God damn. <laughs> Good job, dumbass. Um, yeah. It. So. It's it's a good way to start because like the the stream lasted for about four hours and at the start of the stream it did just feel like a normal cold it felt 
It felt genuinely like, you know, just, you know, slight head wobbles, slight, you know, just, you know, oh, I'm a bit bunged up up here, blah, blah, blah. Um, and over the course of the stream, I had a couple of people, like, say, you know, don't push yourself too far and make sure you're healthy, etc. So what happened near the end of the stream? Um, I heard something near the end of the stream uh, from outside, and essentially... Oh, God, this is actually hard to speak still. Um, during the end of the stream, I just heard my parents talking, and I heard... Well, I think I heard my mother. <sighs> and she said to herself, or she said to Dad, um, go and get the COVID kit. I'm just like, are oh, you fucking kidding me right now? Uh, that's why I kind of stopped, was because they were going out, and also I had to, I had to have uh, dinner that night. And as soon as I went out, my parents had taken a PCR test, and the first thing they said to me is, shove this down your nose. And I was like, don't you fucking dare. And I just said, I just looked at my mom, I said outright, just, if you've got it, just fucking tell me. And she said, we both do. Fuck. And of course, over the course of that stream, I started feeling real rough. Like, it had gotten worse and worse as we carried on through that stream. Um... So I was kind of sat there, just, I know what this is. I know what's going to happen. And funny enough, uh, when I took the test, uh, inconclusive. I don't know whether I didn't shove it down my nose far enough or down my throat far enough, uh, but my test did not show COVID, uh, interestingly enough. So they went out, left my test on the side cabinet. Um, I came out 15 minutes later to come get a drink, I had a look at it, and in the time that they went out, the actual uh, thing on the COVID test had turned and said that I did have COVID. So, that's when I knew. And that's when I kind of started thinking, well, this isn't going to be good. And, yeah, no, it wasn't. Um, it's so weird how, at first, it feels like a really aggressive cold. It feels like a insanely aggressive cold. Um, like, it it literally just felt like I had a common cold at first, and it, it really felt like, you know, just something that comes on really fast, and, you know, will just go away in a day or two. Um, the first night wasn't too bad. It was the second day. That's when it hit hard, because it's, the way that I've been describing it, <sighs> the way that I've been describing it is a very aggressive flu and that's kind of how it felt at first it is like it is usual <coughs> fuck it's usual flu like symptoms but uh, they get aggressive like on day two when i woke up like it was immediately as if i've been hit with a, a full-flown flu and it it's so weird in the when i woke up it, it's so weird, because my body was changing temperature in such weird ways. Like, when I woke up, everything above my neck, like my head and everything like that, burning alive. Everything below my neck, freezing cold. And it just kept alternating. Like, they would be on opposite, like, wavelengths. My head would be cold, my body would be burning, vice versa, and it just keep going like that the entire day. Um, and unfortunately, <clears throat> as the day kept going, that's when the breathing issues started. Um on the second day, was nasal started to get very blocked, um, literally impossible to breathe through my nose at all, and then it was near towards the end of the third day that this started hurting a lot. Um, it started hurting, but it also was tight. Like, for those who don't know, I have, um, I have a sliding gate hiatus hernia, so... Everybody's esophagus, right? Your way, the way your esophagus works is it lets things up, it lets things down, it regulates the flow of what go, what's going on. With <clears throat> with everyone's esophagus, you've got this flappy bit, right? It's supposed to regulate what goes up and what comes down. Mine doesn't work. Now, it's that and the previous pneumonia that I had a couple of years ago uh, at university that essentially... That essentially have made it so that my lungs are fucked. And my lungs are very fucked. Um, like, I, I'm i surprised I do as well as I do with my commentary. Without needing to, like, breathe more. Um, I'm still very proud of that, obviously. But, 
<sighs> essentially couldn't breathe through my nose and then i started to have to regulate my breathing like a lot like it, it's funny in that like when you're when you live normally you don't think about needing to breathe but all of a sudden like if i was sat there and i wouldn't be able to like breathe i wouldn't realize it until like all of a sudden i'd just go <gasps> and just stuff like that like it, it it's ridiculous how it just fucks you like instantly um and day two is when things start to get bad and then day three was day three was probably the worst of it um day three was the day i almost had to go into hospital um because of how bad the breathing had gotten um it's not something that I made that public until after the fact, because I didn't want to obviously go, you know, oh, hey, I might be going into the hospital, etc. And I'm glad I didn't, because obviously that didn't obviously happen. Um, <clears throat> but essentially, yeah, it was real bad. It, I, I, I can't, I can't describe how bad the breathing was. Like, I couldn't breathe at all through my nose. Um, again, these lozenges. I took one of these lozenges uh, during the Strange Paradise stream. These things, fucking great. These things fucking saved my ass this entire week. Um, but the thing that kept me going was lozenges, tea, <laughs> good old British method of just drinking tea, uh, and chicken stew. Lots of nice, hot, warm things. Um... I know I'm getting better now because my hernia is giving me massive amount of shit these days. But during the um, during during COVID, um, I still think I have it a little bit. By the way, um, I definitely am not 100 percent yet. Um, during COVID, um, my hernia actually stopped giving me grief, but there were periods where again, any food that I tried to eat instantly came out of me, like just instantly just my body couldn't handle food um it was really bad on days three and four days three and four were the worst um and funnily enough i actually never lost my appetite which is something that i expected to happen um i expected i expected during it that you know when you get ill you lose your appetite and stuff like that i actually actually ate like a bit more because of the fact that with um my whole plan when i had covid was if my body said sleep, I slept. Like, I was awake at like 4, 5 a.m. Um, most days. Like, I my sleep schedule fixed itself, just like that. Um, it's gone back to being bad again, which, fair enough. <laughs> but, essentially... Essentially, the... Um, my, my, I'm surprised my appetite never left me. Like, it, it, it was something that was just... I'm hungry. I want food. I'm going to eat food. Uh, the stream is not sponsored by Square Enix, by the way. <laughs> I, should probably, I should probably turn that off. The stream is uh, the stream is not sponsored by Square Enix. Uh, when we do when we do the ending of um, Strange Paradise, then it will be. <laughs> but this one is not. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Nightbot. Um, you'll come back. You'll come back seat my uh, my COVID recovery if you want. <laughs> I'll, I'll allow you the back seat my COVID recovery. Um, but fuck, like days three and four were the worst. Day day three, I genuinely felt like I actually may have been dying. Like it was bad. Um, it was it was bad. It was very very bad. Uh, I I cannot. <sighs> I cannot describe how bad it was. And I you can still hear that I have the repercussions Dad, of it right hope now. you have a swift um, recovery. Hey, Bob, thank you for the 19 months. Yeah, I'm hoping to. Um, again, I'll thank everybody for your wonderful support in a second. Um, this isn't going to be my return stream. I just want I just want this stream as kind of like a... I want to talk about it now because when I come back... When I come back in a couple of days or hopefully tomorrow. God, I hope tomorrow. I don't want my entire streams to just be filled with, you know, me talking about how shitty COVID was, you know. I'm still happy to talk about, you know, how terrible it was and, like, how it made me feel and me feeling, obviously, better, because I definitely feel better than I was. But, you know, I don't want it to be just continually, like, talking about COVID, you know. Um, and I kind of also want to use this stream as a way to kind of gauge, you know, how... How am I doing? Because like you can probably see and you can probably hear that I'm taking a lot of sharp intakes of breath a lot. Because again, 
GDQ submissions have opened up. I don't have as much as I used to. Um, I'll talk about that in a bit. But in essence, to get prepared for GDQ submissions, I've got less than a week. So I need to be on that now. Um, so I'm kind of using the stream as a way to as a way to kind of figure out what my limits are at the minute, whether I can accurately do the kind of commentary that I like to do, or whether I just can't. Um, this is good tea, by the way. Whew. Um, like, the, the interesting thing is, I've spoken more in the first 20 minutes of this than I have for the entire week. Like, I've just not been saying anything at all. Um... On day three, um, funnily enough, on day three, the day where um, I almost went to the hospital, I actually, I actually was in a Discord call at one point. Uh, it was just me and Nayu. Uh, it was the only day of the week that I tried to play video games. It was the only day of the week that I was like, well, I'm not going to do anything, so I might as well just play some Elven Ring. Um, God, that was a struggle. Um... And if Nayu was here, Nayu could tell you, because Nayu is the only person who will have uh, ever heard, literally almost on death door through, who literally was just... My my everything was fucked. Like, it, like I, I kind of wish, like, Hello, husky Fube. voice through was the default. Hope you're feeling default, good but... now. <laughs> Fube, hi. Here you go, Koo. Um, not fully. But that's that's kind of why I'm just like doing this stream. It's not a, it's not gonna be a full prop stream. There's not gonna be any speedruns tonight. Um, it's just a stream to kind of test my limits and see like how much I can do commentary wise and how I feel after it. Um, it's probably only gonna be an hour or so. I'll tell you what we could do. Uh, if you want, whilst we whilst we have this conversation, we could get the marbles up in the background if you want. If you want to do some marbles, we could have some marbles in the background because I'm not doing anything else. Um, let me bring my. The fuck happened to my thing? What the heck? What just happened to my screen then? That was weird. Um, I think I messed something up with my HDMI cables as well, because I accidentally uh, dropped my webcam on my uh, monitor's HDMI cable. So I do need to fix that. Uh, let me let me get the marbles up real quick, because, again, we're not doing anything else, so I might as well, I might as well have marbles up on the side. Um, let me switch directory as well. Might as well, it gives us something to do. Um, I like how marbles on Twitch has a tag of MMO. All right. <laughs> I don't, I don't believe that, but sure. Um, it could be a case that maybe I don't submit anything for GDQ this time. Um, mm. I'm so fucking mad. I'm so fucking mad. I made it to the quarters of M2M, and I had to drop the Titanfall speedrunning community um, tournament. I just had to drop. COVID, fuck me. Like, I'm so mad. Like, my matches would have been on uh, Saturday. I was just fucked. I couldn't do it. Like, I I held off as long as I could to dropping out of that, and I just had to drop. I'm so mad. I actually made quarters. Yeah. I actually made quarters. Um, and the person that I would have faced in quarters actually made it all the way to the finals. So, proud of them. Actually, they won, I think. So, proud of them. Um, we got some races going, shall we? Uh, bu 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 bu. Probably not going to be any music because I obviously want to keep talking and also thank all of you for the support so far. Uh, so Grand Prix, let's do like uh, let's do like six minutes. What a mess. Yeah, sure, that'll do. Exclamation point! Play for and join in for the marbles. Exclamation <laughs> point! Play for and play for marbles. Also, thank you all for the subs. I will thank you all when um, when I get to the end of story time. Let me join in as well. Um, Ugh. See, that's not something that I've had happen, is tea causing me gastric stuff. <laughs> um, so yeah, day three, day three, I tried to do some Elden Ring. Um, it was literally just like, it was literally just me, it was Nayu in a, in a Discord call, and like, I wasn't speaking during any of it, but by God, it was a struggle. Like, that, I was struggling to breathe, I was struggling to do anything, and, like, I was the one person who heard Husky Froob. <laughs> it's the one person who heard, literally, a Froob who couldn't, like, even do single sentences together. That's how bad it was. Um, it was really bad. 
it was it was terrible um like i i was struggling to breathe i was struggling to just even even my head was just struggling to formulate anything and it was kind of like those are the points where i had to like keep making sure that i was regulating my breathing to make sure that i was obviously properly breathing um day four was a little better uh chest got a little less tight which was nice the thing over day three and four that was the really annoying thing this fucker this fucker right here this piece of shit right here I didn't know the human body could produce that much mucus. Holy fuck. Like, we are talking day three and day four for a good total of like 48 to 50 hours non-stop fucking mucus generating. Like, holy shit. <laughs> that was the most disgusting like 48 hours of the entire thing. Like, I literally like went into a shower twice just to wash my mustache. Like, holy shit. Like, oh my god, it was awful. And then day five was where things started looking up a lot, which is fantastic. And I'm so happy because the first thing that I noticed when I woke up on day five was one, my breathing had gotten instantly better because two, my nose had stopped and I could start to breathe through the right hand side of my nose again. And it was just, oh, I was just so bliss. Oh, I was so good. Like that's, that was, apart from, you know, the almost dying to not being able to breathe thing, the, just the nasal gunkage was just awful. Like, I cannot, I cannot describe how awful the nasal stuff with COVID was. It was terrible. Um, I'll give you all another 10 seconds and then we'll go with the first race. Like, it was terrible and I've not had any nasal gunk for days, thank fuck for that. <laughs> I would be, oh, I'd be very upset if I did. Um, this is literally the most that I have spoken this entire week since that stream last week. Um, as I said, I do want to... I do want to obviously finish uh, Strange of Paradise on stream as well. Um, this is quite loud. I need to turn my capture card down. It's been it's been a while since I've done any streaming. All right, <laughs> things are hard. Um, it's been oh, it's been one hell of a week. It's been hard. Um, obviously, I'm not the only person. I'm not the only person who has had uh, COVID in the house. Uh, my parents both got it. Um, there's not much really to say about days six and seven so far. I wanted to try Glad and stream to see you back. yesterday. Hope you're doing um, better. But I got really tired around like eight. Hey, it's me. I got really tired around like eight p.m. and I was just like, I'm just gonna listen to my body. I'm just gonna go to sleep. So I just I went and napped. Um, so yeah. Uh, that was that was pretty much my yesterday, um, and it still is the same case today. Where it's just you know I'm gonna I'm just gonna chill. I'm just not gonna. Oh, Robin, there goes Robin. I'm not gonna. Ah, oh, Robin missed. Uh, I'm not gonna push myself like too hard because things are still rough and things are still gonna be rough. So it's just one of it's just one of those things where it's gonna take a hot minute to actually get better um i was expecting this to be rough for a couple of days but by god it it sucks um god it sucks i can't i can't describe how bad it is like it's it's awful like i, I genuinely almost died to it like i'm so lucky that i didn't have to go to the hospital um because there was a giant fear of that at one point like a giant fear of that it was really bad. Like, really, really bad. Um, so I am... Oh, I nick. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Imagine getting launched out and the place you land is back on the actual track going backwards. Goddamn. Um, yeah, I... Oh, wow, I just snuck in there. Nope, nope, no, I didn't. Um, yeah, it was, it was terrible. Um... I can't, I can't describe how bad it's been the past few days. Um, <laughs> and it's soft locked. Oh my god. Oh, it's the ghost ball. That's why. That's why. It's the ghost ball. <laughs> it's the ghost ball. <laughs> I next finally found the way to go, at least. But, yeah. It's, um... It's obviously nice to be back. It's obviously very nice to be back. Um... 
the last two days have been a lot better than the first, obviously, five days. The first five days were terrible. Um, oh, God, it does, it does feel good to be able to breathe through my goddamn nose. I can't, I can't describe enough how, how actually nice it is. Especially about play for the space station. Let's go. Is this the one with all the, with all the planets? Because if so, this one kind of sucks a bit. No, it's not. It's this one. Okay, cool. This one's fine. Yeah, this one's fine. This one's fine. Um... Yeah, it's it. The last the last couple of days have been terrible, <laughs> terrible. Um, I'm still again. I'm still not doing hundred percent. My head is throbbing, uh, real bad. Even right now, my head is throbbing. Right now, um, I expected this. I actually am close to needing to have a couple of uh, tablets. Um, I've got some ibuprofen because I know ibuprofen does better for it. Um, it's been bad. It's been it's been bad. Very bad. Yeah, only, only once. Only once. I can see your name in the middle, so you're already in. Oh dear. Um, yeah. Um, I hope everybody enjoyed the, uh, <laughs> I very enjoyed the, the Twitter daily updates, because I didn't really know what else to do. Um, obviously, what the hell is on my microphone? Weird. I obviously didn't want to, um... I like sharing stuff with COVID because, like, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of negativity and a lot of negativity that come around out around the, the, about it. But like, a lot of people seem to engage with it quite nicely, which is nice. I just wanted to make sure that people knew what was going on. Um, I'm just happy to be alive, to be honest, because I I genuinely was in trouble at one point. Um, My parents came out of it way better than I did, of course. Um, for those who are wondering how the fuck I got COVID, <sighs> I don't think we'll ever know how, uh, but we have a very large suspicion. Um, I know how I got it, because I haven't left the house since December. <laughs> so, it wasn't me. Um, I was brought into the house by my parents, uh, but we think they brought it into the house... Not the Sunday just gone, but the Sunday prior to that. So I think I'm on, like... I think I'm not, like, on day 7 of COVID. I think I'm on, like, day 8 or 9. Um, but fuck Merv's girlfriend. <sighs> so, <laughs> we think... Oh, God, I got a fucking story to share. Jesus Christ. So, I'll give another 10 seconds and we'll go ahead with the map. Um, fucking God. So... We think we got COVID from my grandma, who didn't know she had it at the time, because my grandma she's in a she's in a retirement home quite close by. Um, she's in a retirement home quite close by. She's um, she does stuff with them like every week, and not last Sunday, Sunday before that, she went to choir uh, with a bunch of people from obviously the retirement home. Now. She has a couple of friends there, one of which is called Merv. Now, Merv wasn't there because Merv had, stop me if you heard this one before, COVID. So, might be wondering how the fuck we got here then. Because here's the thing. Despite the fact that Merv has COVID, uh, Merv has been looked after by Merv's girlfriend. Now, here's the thing. Merv's girlfriend has been in direct contact with somebody with COVID. Merv's girlfriend was at choir. They never tested whether they had COVID or not. I think you can see where this is going. <laughs> I think you can see where this is fucking going. <laughs> so, thanks, Merv's girlfriend, you absolute fucker. <laughs> so, yeah, not... Not particularly happy about that. <laughs> I'm sure debatable button isn't too particularly happy about being all the way back there. Um, so yeah, uh, not happy about that. Not bad in the slightest. So a whole bunch of people. Um, oh yeah, Ghost King just going. A, lot, a whole bunch of people from the um, the retirement place also managed to get it. Now here's the problem. Remember day three and day four that I was talking about that were bad for me? 
oh boy. So, there was a little bit of stress that happened those two days, uh, not because of me. So, Grandma also obviously got COVID on... I think what basically happened is my grandma got COVID on the Sunday. My parents got COVID on the Sunday when they met up with her at the pub. They came back on the Monday... I started getting it because on Monday's stream I said I'm starting to feel a little rough and then on Tuesday that's when I had the positive test. So I'm fairly certain this is what the timeline of everything looks like. I don't even know how you got down there, Sliver. What the heck? <laughs> the heck did you get down there? Um, so essentially this is a good race actually at the front. It's actually a very good race. So was it day three or was it day four? I think it was day three. Uh, my dad got a call from my grandma, um, who is also seemingly recovering from it quite well now. It's the other thing that happened to grandma whilst all of this went on. Now, grandma is 95 at this point. Woman's fucking healthier than I am somehow. Jesus Christ. I, I wouldn't give her shit at all. She'll slap me around the head. But grandma... Well, grandma's gotten a lot older. Grandma's lost... Nice line around the outside, Leons. Grandma's lost a lot of her independence. And the problem is... Grandma fell. She fell really badly on day three. And she didn't tell anyone about it. Now, obviously, the only, the only family she's got is us. And we can't go over there. We've got COVID. Like, we, we just can't go over there. We've got COVID. Um... She didn't tell us until day four. She phoned up dad on day four and was like, uh, dad was, you know, being inquisitive, you know, like, are you recovering well from this? And she said, yeah, but my hip hurts. It was like, dad was like, you know, all right, why did your hip hurt? Because I fell yesterday. <laughs> like, oh my God. So she phoned up, um, she phoned up uh, 999 and they sent an ambulance out. And my dad said to her, Told them you have COVID, right? <laughs> surrounded by fucking idiots. I'm surrounded by fucking idiots. <laughs> Thankfully, she got in contact with them before they turned up. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> so thankfully, they saw Grandma. She hasn't, like, broken anything. Nothing's too bad. It just does seem to be a bruised hip. It's nothing serious, thank god. But... <sighs> Fucking Christ. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Exclamation mark play if you want to join in for Twisting Tumble. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. So all that was going on whilst I was quietly dying on the side. So, yeah, great. Um, my parents have now um, tested negative for COVID. Um, I have still tested positive. So right now, right at this second, I am still positive for COVID. So that's the reason why today's stream is not going to be a full-on speedrun stream. It's why we're just going to have, you know, a little bit of fun with marbles. That was a good idea, marbles, actually. Um... We're just going to have a nice chill stream today whilst I keep everyone apprised of what's going on. Because um, I know... So the trouble with content creation and being, like, always online is that, you know, I get why people want to, like, know everything's okay. And I'm, I'm glad that people have been very inquisitive on how I'm doing the past, obviously, week or so. Because, again, I, I almost went into hospital on, on the third day, which was the Thursday, actually. Um... I actually refunded you for that, Bryce. I actually refunded you. But it did make me laugh when I went back to my VODs and listened and said, Oh, it's not COVID, you guys. It's fine. Dumbass. <laughs> <coughs> Fuck. <sighs> so, yeah.
So you can see I'm still, you know, struggling a little bit. Um, God, cups of teas. I have lived off these for the past couple of days. They have saved my ass. They are so good. On day, on day four, and I was still having the mass uh, temperature fluctuations, I had one of the best baths I've ever had. I had a bath at like 11 p.m. Scorching hot. Literally made, when I, when I went to test the temperature of this bath, I put my hand inside of it. It literally made my entire hand just go red. God, scorching hot. Stunningly good. Stunningly good. That was the first time in those first four days that my nasal problems just went away because of just how hot it was and how steamy it was. Oh my god. Was it a good idea with my breathing problems? Fuck no. <laughs> that, it was the worst idea. But... Did it clear up my sinuses for a good, like, couple of hours? Damn fucking right it did. Oh, it was so nice. Oh my god, it was so nice. <coughs> but, like, I'm still... The the problem that I have at the minute is I'm still kind of tight around here. The top part of my throat here is still very scratchy. Um, really not as bad as it was before. Again, thankfully I have one vinyl lozenge, which I'll uh, pop now. Um, these lozenges were great, as I mentioned during the uh, Strange of Paradise stream. These are menthol. These these helped with this so much. I cannot I cannot describe how much they helped with the fucking nasal problems. They were fantastic. Shout outs to nasal uh, nasal menthol lozenges. They are. Mm. Hope you are doing okay, given the circumstances, of course. Much better than I was, and I'm not. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Touch wood. Hopefully not in danger of dying anymore. Um, I gave you another 10 seconds, then we'll go. So, Xbox Without Play, if you want to join in. Um, but it was... It was close at one point, I'm not going to lie. Comes out of focus? God damn it. <laughs> uh, that's what I get for waving my arms around. Um, <sighs> dear, oh dear. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been a rough couple of days. Um, so let's talk about the problem that I've got. That's a big problem. Um, I was kind of hoping for all of this. I was kind of hoping that GDQ submissions would not happen anytime soon. They opened yesterday, <laughs> so I have a big problem in the. I don't have anything. Um, because here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. So, for GDQ, the it's online and in person, which is going to be interesting. The hybrid is going to be very interesting. Uh, I'm very much looking forward to seeing how they're going to do it. Obviously, I am going to be submitting for the online portion uh, because of my legs, not just obviously obviously getting over COVID and stuff, because I'll be way over COVID, hopefully, by that point. Um, but my legs are still very messed up. They... Oh, wow, nice jump by me. Um, they're still very messed up, as you could probably guess. Um, oh, oh yeah, that was that ghost ball, wasn't it? That was that was insane. That was actually crazy. Um, I think I was trying the same, but not getting it. Um, yeah, it's... So, the way that GDQ works is that they... If ever you have multiple people submitting the same game, unless there's, like, extenuating circumstances, they will always take the runner who is the fastest, obviously. Um, now, my big my big game that I was going to submit this time, uh, same as the last couple of times, was always going to be uh, LED. And, of course, I'm no longer top time in LED. I'm actually probably, like, third... Uh, behind both PS Color and Tom. So, I'm still going to try with LED, but I don't think LED... I don't think LED gets in, uh, unfortunately. At least not from me. Um, I actually wonder whether they'll accept a Yak as a run this time around. I'm curious about that. Um, but, essentially... Oh, God, that's helping my nose already. I love this. Essentially... Oh, my God, a cutscene. What the heck? N Nanny? What the fuck? Cutscenes in my marbles games? What the hell? Is that new? What the hell? 
What the fuck? We have actual... We have actual bloody... Actual production value all of a sudden. What the fuck? They won't accept an LAD race. They won't accept a RPG race. Like, they would never accept an RPG race. Like, never. Um, too much going on to be able to have a race, honestly. Um, but essentially, yeah, LAD was going to be my number one, but... Well, I can't grind out LED whilst I'm dying from COVID, so that sucks. Um, there's a brand new route for LED, which I need to... There's a brand new route for LED, which I need to obviously keep learning. I haven't been able to play games at all this week, thanks to COVID. Um, so I'm now rusty at LED with the, with the new route. Um, so chances of me catching up to Tom and P.S. Cal are slim to none. Um... And because of the new route, I can't, um, oh, that's so good. Oh, thank fuck. <laughs> it's always so nice to, that realization I can breathe through my nose again, it's just always so nice. Um, and obviously, what was I going to say fuck? Um, because it's a new route, I can't, um... I can't use the old questing for glory vaults because it's a much faster and much newer route. So it requires full on commentary for it. <laughs> As you've seen so far, I'm struggling to breathe. I can't, I probably can't do from what I'm feeling so far. I'll give you another 15 seconds before I start the map. Um, I probably can't do my usual commentary, which sucks. Um, I still have a week, which is nice. Then actually I don't, because here's the thing. If we take LAD and put it to one side, what else have we got? Yakuza 4. <sighs> Yakuza 4 just became baseball bat hell. It would be even worse of a showcase than goddamn Lost Judgment was. So I'm kind of on the fence about that. Um... Because honestly, I don't think 4 would be a very good GDQ showcase at all. Um, so, I might do it just because, you know, you get 5 submissions, so shrug emoji. Um, but honestly, it, I had my ambivalency towards Lost Judgment's run as it evolved. 4 is just dear god. Um, 4 is just dear god. Um... So what else do I have? OG Judgment. Uh, OG Judgment is five hours long. That's a no. <laughs> That's, that is not happening at all. Um, if I have a spare slot, yeah, sure, fuck it, why not? But OG Judgment is five hours long. That's not. That's never happening. Um, that's genuinely, genuinely never happening. Um, same with Ishin. Ishin's five hours long. Um, as much as I love Ishin and I think that Ishin is a good run, there's way too much downtime in the middle. Same with OG Judgment. Like, there's way too much downtime. Um, Zero is bloody terrible with shotguns. Um, you could say, why not just do no tiger and dragon, which I might, but at the same time, it also suffers from the same issues that Ishin and Judgment OG do, in that there's just, there's nothing in the middle. Like, it's just, there's like a period of like 30 minutes where fuck all happens, and that's not good. Um, it's a shame, because again, Zero has good speed tech. Fits the North Star. Again, five hours. Thank God I can't submit that. <laughs> Thank fucking God. Um, five is too long. I know some people are going to be submitting Kiryu Percent for five, which I do actually quite like. Um, I do wonder whether they would take that. Um, what the hell's happening here? What the fuck? Oh, that stops all the balls, I see. Oh! Oh! This is a cool map. What the hell's happening in here? Oh, oh, gee, oh, gee, oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus. What the hell's happening in here? Congrats to anybody who got out of that without being whacked by a bloody hammer. This is a cool map. Holy shit. That's a really cool map. You get stopped by, you can't get stopped by that if you get hit by that. Damn, this is a cool map. Um. So, yeah. 
there's there's a lot of there's a lot of the runs that are just you know probably zero chance LED even though it's four hours long actually has good chances because of how long it is and also how many good like incentives and bid walls and stuff there are attached to it plus with LED there's only about 15 minutes of downtime if you put together the business mini game but also the battle tower um which even in the business mini game, you still have things to talk about, and even the battle tower, you still have things to talk about. So, honestly, this is nice. This reminds me of a saxophone for some reason. I don't know why. Um, so, honestly, I think the LED, despite being one of the longer ones, actually has probably the biggest chance of the longer ones. I'm still surprised and stunned. Um, the K1 hasn't been taken yet, and I could see. Oh, nice timing on Unsaved Wall there. I could see. Um, Oh, nice win. I could see K1 being picked at some point. Um, the trouble with the long runs for RPGs is that there's usually only one slot for them. So, you are going up against every other long RPG. So, you have to have a run that is exceptional and showcases what a good long RPG is. Um... It's one of those things that's just like I need to keep moving the other. <laughs> I need to keep moving the uh, the lozenge around because if I keep it on one side, it numbs my cheek. Um, oh, it's so nice. It's one of those things where it's just like you know. It's not. It's not a guaranteed. Sir. Nothing is. Um, but I'd like to hope that it has. You know, a chance. Welcome um, back, fruit. I like to hope that it has at least a little bit of a chance. Um, but... I don't know. Again, I'm not the I'm not the power submitter for it anymore. So, even if it gets in, it likely, it likely won't be me. Um, so. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. Because there is something that I can submit. The trouble is, we don't know how long it is yet. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Kaito DLC. So, here's the problem that we've got. Kaito DLC. We have one day to complete it, one day to route it and run it, and then submit it. That's it. And I'm recovering from God to see you're COVID. feeling a bit better, Fruba, whoa. So here's the plan. So here's the plan. Day one, when Kaito's DLC comes out, we're doing a full playthrough of it. On that day. Day two, we're speedrunning it. We are going fucking ham on it, and we are speedrunning it. Simple as that. It is as simple as that. I will be submitting Kaito DLC. It's probably the only chance I've got whether or not they would accept it after obviously having lost judgment at AGDQ. Probably not. And it also depends on how long the DLC is. If the DLC is like 30 minutes long, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, remember, Majima Saga was less than 10 minutes. <laughs> but yeah. I think I think that's a I think that's a decent shout. Um it's pretty much the only thing that I've got as well. The trouble is, we don't know how Kaito's DLC is going to be, but I have a strong suspicion, a very strong suspicion, it is just going to be EX spam again. Very strong suspicion. Um, I have seen the combat videos that RGG have put out, and there's a little bit of um, one of Kaito's EX modes in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I think that's exactly all it's I think that's exactly all it's gonna be. Um So here we go again, unfortunately. Um But yeah, that's that's kinda of my plan. I I don't think I have five submissions this time. I think I have two. Which is L A D and Kaito. Um And again, L A D I'm not power submitter on, so I won't get L A D in. Um so Kaito's all I've got, and I don't think they'll take Kaito after Lost Judgment at 
uh, AG DQ. I think it would be too close. So we'll see. Um, we'll see. I'm curious as to how many people as well are going to submit for the online only portion. Because um, obviously I'm going to be submitting for the online only portion because obviously, you know, my legs are fucked. Um, so we'll see. And also, if I do submit Kaito DLC once again, I will I will submit the um <laughs> I will submit the uh Super Amon um boss fight as an incentive. <laughs> and this time the I'm just gonna submit it with the uh the, the clip of me perfecting that fight and just going, look, listen, we can get it this time. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Yeah, but again, Seraph, I'm not world record holder in LED anymore. I'm actually, like, third place. And GDQ will always prioritize whoever the faster runner is. Um, unless there's, like, extenuating circumstances, like, you know, the first place runner is a giant piece of shit or something like that, which, again, PS Kyler and Tom aren't. So, it's <laughs> 100% going to one of those two. Um, it doesn't matter that I've been submitting it for, like, the last, like, two, three events. It'll literally go to whoever the fastest runner is. At the time. So. And again, whilst recovering from COVID, I don't have the time to be grinding out LAD, which really sucks. Um, like, sat here right now, just doing marbles, I can already feel my temperature is starting to, like, flush my face quite a bit already. So, I wouldn't be able to handle a entire LAD run right now. So, yeah. My, my GDQ prep is being really fucking hampered by uh, COVID, which sucks. My my big hope, <laughs> my only hope, like, in a kind of selfish stand of view, is um, for, if a Yakuza game gets accepted for GDQ, it would be one of, um, one of the shorter ones, like K1, and then they leave LAD for um, a GDQ next year, and at that point I can hopefully be world record holder, so, we'll see. We will, we will see. But that's, that's a purely selfish standpoint. Um, again, it doesn't matter who, like, submits what run. Because, again, I just want to see Yakuza run submitted to GDQ. I say this every time. I say this every time with GDQ opening up. If you have a Yakuza run, submit it. Simple as that. Like, you get five free shots. You have nothing to lose. You have literally nothing to lose. We're not a community that just goes, you know, oh, X person is submitting X game, therefore you're not allowed to submit anything. Fuck that. Fuck that. If we start doing that, we're going to start getting bloody people writing ugh, people writing paste bins and shit like that. <laughs> we haven't had to have a paste bin in the community yet. I particularly break, I don't know what's going on with them because I think they said they wanted their next event in May or I don't know if they delayed that. Let me find out. I can just go to ball number one. Uh, RPG limit break. Who's in first right now? I don't think Lone Shadow is in first. It's Robin. Um, let me have a look. No, they're not doing May. That's right. Reevaluate some design possible autumn event. That's right. That's right. Yeah, no gatekeeping in the Yakuza community. Yeah, absolutely not. Fuck that. I, I get annoyed by gatekeeping in the Yakuza community because it's just like, there's no point. Like, it's, it, is, it is nice because, you know, we don't need to be all like, you know, oh, we have a, a number one runner that has to do everything. I've just been the one that's been insanely lucky enough to be the one that's been picked. Um, oh my god. Everyone's fl oh my god, everyone's flying! Um, everyone's flying! Um, I've genuinely been the, the very, very lucky so far to be able to, obviously, <laughs> say anybody who is not dead right now. Holy shit. Everyone's dying. I'm literally dying in real life. <laughs> this needs to stop. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it's it's nice. We don't we we don't ever say you know, at star number one community member is submitting. Therefore, you're not allowed to do anything. Now, fuck that. Shoot your shot. Shoot your shot. Take your shot. Simple as that. Like I got very very lucky. I've been very lucky. It's not most people don't get a single chance at GDQ. I've had three. Like, Jesus Christ, I've been insanely lucky, and I can't ever, ever complain about the chances that I've had. Um, 
And I, again, as I said with, like, Lost Judgment, I've actually been very proud of, like, all of the runs we've done. It still stuns me that Lost Judgment was probably the run that, of mine that raised the most money out of all three of them, despite the fact that it didn't have the Yakuza name on it. Like, I'm still stunned by that, because, again, I had so many people... I had a couple of people try and gutcha me after the GDQ run, um, because the incentive was 100k. I had a bunch of people being all like, oh wow, you must be really mad at GDQ because they put your, um, your incentive so high. No? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Why would I be mad about that? I still got a chance, I still got a chance to do the run and raise money for charity. That's the most important thing. Why, Why would I care about whether an optional incentive actually made it or not? Like... It's so many people try and, like, like do gotchas, like, you know. GDQ made you look bad because you couldn't get anywhere near your bonus. No? What? No? What the fuck? <laughs> like, even even if we didn't actually make the incentive, we still... Expectation about play, by the way. We still managed to raise, again, the most money that I've ever raised in any, like, speedrun I've done for GDQ during that run. Like... Why would I be mad? <laughs> like, doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> so yeah, like I I can't complain. I've been I've been exceptionally exceptionally lucky. Um, exceptionally exceptionally lucky to have free GDQ runs. It's actually insane. Um, but I just want to see the community do well. Like, again, I'd love to see an art. The the two the two big marathons I want to see Yakuza runs in. And again, doesn't matter if it's me, doesn't matter if it's anybody else. The two big marathons I want to see Yakuza runs in now. Now that we've done the big ones like ESA and GDQ, I want to see RPG Limit Break. I want to see RTA in Japan. Like, I really, I really want to see RTA in Japan. The trouble is we don't have that many Japanese runners. Um, which is a shame. Um, I would love to see some more Japanese runners and more Japanese runners do, obviously, marathon runs for the RGG games. It would be absolutely amazing to see, um, obviously, Ryugogotoku in RTA in Japan. Because RTA in Japan, it, it's kind of weird in that, like, <coughs> in, fucking hell, that's, that's lozenge, in, um, in these kind of COVID times, RTA in Japan's viewership has skyrocketed astronomically, like, and it, it's great to see. It genuinely, genuinely is. Like, speedrunning is still a very community-based thing, and it is very nice to see, you know, more and more regions getting involved in speedrunning and more recognition. Because, like, not only is, like... Not only is RTA in Japan really taking off in Japan, but it's also getting a good... Excuse me, a good viewership outside of Japan as well. Like, we have a couple of, obviously, like... It's the same with GDQ as well in... It's the same for GDQ as well, in that, you know, you have multiple, like, restreams and stuff like that, and obviously, like, I think it's uh, Speed Gaming are the ones that do the, um, the English restreams for RTA in Japan, and honestly, like, it's been, it's been phenomenal to see, it's been phenomenal to see just RTA in Japan just, like, really take off, like, it really has, so, it, it was not on my bingo card that RTA in Japan would become the second biggest speedrunning marathon, I, I'm not even kidding about that, like, in, in the gap the because, it, it's always been GDQ, obviously, and then, for a while it was ESA, but then RPG Limit Break started being, like, super massive. Um, and then, obviously, with RTA, with RTA, with RPG Limit Break's problems with, obviously, not being able to hold a main event, and obviously having a contract with a hotel, RTA in Japan have just skyrocketed. Just, it's insane. It really is. Um, yeah, it's massive. It's absolutely massive. It's, it's actually genuinely, genuinely insane. It's good to see. That's the important thing. It's very good to see. Give me another 15 seconds and I'll... Start the match. <laughs> RTA in Japan, uh, I'm fairly certain the viewership was straddling on the mainstream alone between 50 to 75k. 50 to 75k in the last event. No joke. No joke. Yeah. Yeah, RTA in Japan has that, like, really nice thing of, like, obviously having a bunch of games that have obviously never come out in Japan, or never come out in the West, um, that you get to see as well. And... You'll still get your usual, I know there's been, like, some, you know, of your usual stuff, your Mario's, your Kirby's, your Fire Emblems that got run, um, I just really want to see, I just want to see an RGG game at RTA in Japan, um, if I knew Japanese, or could find someone to commentate my inane ramblings, I'd do it, I'd, I'd do that myself, but it doesn't matter if it's me or someone else, I just want to see someone do RTA in Japan with an RGG game, I think it would be good, I think it'd be very, very good, 
so. Two infections out, which took another two weeks. Yeah, it's it's kind of why I'm doing this stream is because, oh you know, I'm God. trying to I'm trying to figure out what my limits are right now. Hope, thank you for the raid. I, I have a little bit more hope lately, thankfully. Hope you're doing, hope you're doing well. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Those marbles got pushed out. Oh, baby. I'm, I'm, I'm doing about as well as I expected to um, in the stream at the minute. Um, I expected there to be... I expect there to be breathing issues, um, which definitely having a couple of those still today. Um, and this is again, this is the problem with going into GDQ submissions is I have I have breathing issues, so I'm really not going to be able to do my nice line through here. I'm not going to be able to do my usual commentary that I'm so proud of. So I basically have to decide whether to cut my losses or what to focus on really so we'll we'll see we'll uh we'll see let's see me back yeah it's not it's not like the proper proper return um still very much very much half dead at the moment <laughs> still struggling with my breathing gotta control it a little bit but definitely feeling a lot better than i was definitely feeling better than when i last streamed um strangers of paradise that's for sure because that was uh that was not fun when we started getting COVID itself. Um, excuse me. Oh, dear. Ugh. Like, I'm still, I'm still very tight, like, around the chest area here. It's still very much a pain to breathe sometimes, so. But yeah, this is basically, this is basically what I have to think about in terms of, you know, in terms of, in terms of what to focus on because i've only got less than a week for gdq submissions at this point it's like do i focus on things that i know do i focus on things that i could potentially like pull back can i pull back like lad for example within the week probably not um so i have to i have to think really long and hard about kind of my plan and the route that I want to go with this, to be honest. So, Matt V. Hicks, thank you. Congratulations on your win. <laughs> thank you for your win. Let's do a couple of community maps. Let's do like, uh, let's do full like community maps, shall we? Um, Battle Royale, yeah, moron. Where's my community maps? There we are. Uh, wait, I'm stupid. I am stupid. Grand Prix, what are you doing? Before <laughs> I don't know how to stream, it's been bloody weeks. <laughs> it's been absolutely bloody weeks. Where's the random button? There's a random button. Dark Marble Adventure, Mad Cute Tunnel, Discombobulating Marble Launch, and Cold Track Parkour. That's what COVID has felt like this last week. Exclamation mark play if you want to join in. <laughs> That's definitely what COVID has felt like this last week. <laughs> But we'll uh, we'll see. I might because I might do a like the trouble with doing speedrun stuff is that speedrun stuff takes so much concentration as well. Like like I already feel like my my forehead right here is just burning up. Um, I've only been live for like an hour. <laughs> I don't want to push myself too hard to come back and you know stumble because don't forget I do still I am still positive tested for COVID right now. Um, I'm still very much positive tested for COVID right now. Um, my parents are negative, but I'm still a positive, so just gotta be just gotta be careful of that. Just gotta be very, very careful about that. So, oh, it's so nice to it's so nice to breathe. Anyway, oh, so everybody joins in for this new Grand Prix. I've got a whole bunch of subs to thank. <laughs> this is gonna this is gonna fuck me up. Freelancer 496, thank you for the tier 1 for 5 months. Linz, thank you for the Prime for 13. Real Alley Cat, thank you for the tier 1 for 10 months. Quo, thank you for the Prime for 3 months. Uh, Lawful Geek, thank you for the tier 1 for 13 months. Amara Spartan, thank you for the 5 gifted subs. 24 Hour Prince, thank you for the Prime for 7. Leon, thank you for the 2 gifted subs. And Sparta, thank you for the Not Deceased for 7 months. Sliver Baron, thank you for the Prime for 14 months. Hmm. 
This lozenge is like so small, it's getting in my way. Dr. T. Charles, thank you for the Prime for three months. Gulo Wobble, thank you for the 100 bits. Barbarous Frog, thank you for the tier 1 for four months. Napalm Sideburn, thank you for the tier 1 for 19 months. Jigoku, thank you for the tier 1 for 13. Asian Dragon 257, thank you for the tier 1 for 16 months. SU, thank you for the five gifted subs. Caustic, thank you for the tier 1 for 15 months. <sighs> Tojo Taro, thank you for the Prime for 11. Pan 2, thank you for the tier 1 for 11. King Duncan, thank you for the tier 1 for 7. IG, thank you for the tier 1 for, for 9 months. And Hope, thank you for the raid. And Big Daryl, thank you for the tier 1 for 3 months. <sighs> <sighs> Whoops. Oh, no. Just realized mine ran out. I'm not going to be able to do my usual commentary. <laughs> uh, Jared. So I guess my big hope is just I'm going to try and submit Kaito DLC. i got a singular day to finish it and then a singular day to route it and speedrun it. Great. <laughs> Great. <laughs> this is going to be, uh, it's gonna be interesting. I'll give you another 10 seconds to join. Just breathing, yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> Gangrel hit you. Thank you for the tier one. I appreciate it. <sighs> Ooh, that's better. All right, let's get going. Oh, excuse me. Fucking hell. This bit happened as well. Diplomatic. Thank you very much for the tier one for two months. I appreciate it. <laughs> Fucking hell, stop that. Great to have you back, yeah. okay. It is honestly good to be back. I've missed I miss everyone. Again, this is the most talking I've done in like literally the week. Um Oh. You all okay? You'll uh Oh, well there goes Tojo Tower. I don't know. I don't know if that was me that knocked you out of that or not, but that there, there you go. Good luck. <laughs> oh, what just happened there? But you just shot off at some speed. Go for the other side. I'd be ahead right now. Bloody Sarah, thank you for the 57 months. Might as well press a button to food pog. Buttons are good. Thank you so very much, Sarah. One of my longest subs to the channel. Holy heck. Thomas is going pretty damn fast over on this side, you know. Well, the T Chops is also catching up. No, I don't think anyone wants to go this way. That's going to be the uh, the very slow way. Let's see if Trumas gets a good line through the middle or not. Yes, actually. It's only trouble actually catching up, though. It's not too bad. Where's the exit? Oh, we're catching up to the exit. Looks like it's going to be between these five right here. And Trumas is looking like they are way too far ahead after Tony didn't take a good pathway out of that escalator. Oh, oh, oh. oh, big barrel right through the middle, though. Just not enough. Just not enough. Almost. Almost. <laughs> <sighs> so yeah, we'll uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, we'll see what happens. Um, for those wondering. Uh, why I'm not going to submit to GDQ for in-person. It's not actually because of COVID. Um, I mean, obviously, COVID sucks. As somebody that's living through COVID right now, it fucking sucks. That's, anybody anybody has ever asked this week, how, you, how is COVID? It fucking sucks. <laughs> there's, there's far nicer and far easier ways of, like, actually, like, describing it. But no, it fucking sucks. <laughs> it's as simple as that. It just fucking sucks. Um, but... Yeah, it's it's just it's it's one of those things. It's just you know, it's not actually COVID that I'm worried about. It's just my legs. Um, so, oh, nice, sixty nine, nice. Like if it wasn't if it wasn't for my legs being swollen, I might have submitted to go to actual GDQ. But my legs, as I said, are just swollen. So, I don't know. Good to see you back, Fru. I don't know. Jonas Will, thank you for the prime game for two months. I appreciate it. 
Thank you, everybody, for your support today. I have appreciated it. <laughs> and our two balls at the start that got stuck didn't actually lose, so congratulations. <laughs> All right, next up. Mad cute tunnel exclamation mark play in the chat. Yeah, it's like it's this isn't my this isn't my um this isn't my big grand glorious return just yet. This is just a this is just a hey hey this is how I'm doing. Hopefully everybody's doing well kind of stream. Because I I wanted to I wanted to touch base. It's been it's been way too long. Um, and just see what my see what my health is acting like right now um better than i expected if i'm being honest but also quite similarly to what i expected so <sighs> but i have to i have to regulate my breathing way more um i really want to do an lad run <laughs> i really i really want to push lad as hard as i can pre gdq but it's just not happening so I think all of all of the eggs have to go into the Kaito basket, and I don't think they accept Kaito DLC uh, after having LJ at um, AGDQ. We'll see if um, if Kaito's DLC is like well timed. You never know. Um, we'll see if it's like between thirty minutes to an hour, um, and has hopefully decent combat, which I don't think it will. I think it's going to be EX spam. We'll see. <sighs> Ugh. Fucking hell. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you one other 15 seconds. Ugh. Ow. It's my fingers. But yeah, I, I just haven't been able to play games at all. I had to I had to drop from the Titanfall 2 speedrun tournament in the quarters because of it, which is really, really annoying. Um, I don't think I would have made it past quarters because the person that I was up against was the person that won the simulacrum bracket. Um, but I still wanted to do it, you know. I still wanted to, still wanted to have fun. Um, I'm still super happy that I actually. I'm still super happy that I actually um, like entered into the tournament because like it. The, the 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 reason why I did that was to get me back into Titanfall two runs and. The irony of getting back into Titanfall 2 runs and then, hey, take a week off from life because of COVID. Great. <laughs> Fucking wonderful. Alright, let's get going. Sucks. <laughs> it sucks. I, I, was, I was like, I was right there and then all of a sudden it's just like, nope. <laughs> it's gonna take you away from the game. Sorry, buddy. But I've just had the time this week to kind of just chill and just like, Stick to myself. I've tried not to do too much work, obviously. I haven't been able to concentrate on a lot of things. I haven't been able to sit here and concentrate for quite a couple of days. It's only been like the last two or three days. So I'm very glad that when the first night that I got the first night that I got um confirmation of COVID, I decided to just stock up a bunch of um VODs for YouTube. So I'm glad I did that ahead of time. I haven't had to think about YouTube at all, which is nice. Uh, hi, YouTube, by the way. This is going up on YouTube. Um, so, it is very nice. I was wondering if those lasers were supposed to do anything, but I guess not. Hmm, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, fair, fair, fair enough. I almost taken the middle pathway. It's probably for the better. Did somebody just get launched? Am I crazy? What the fuck? What is happening in this map right now? I don't know what's happening in this map right now. I think these are your winners over here. Ah. 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 That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Wow. Damn. <laughs> That's very unfortunate. And all the balls are flying off to space. Goodbye, everybody. Time to go. That is that is unfortunate. That 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 that's a feels bad. That is that is unfortunate. Yeah. Been been there. That's very unfortunate. <laughs> Shit. Ugh. Oh god. Dear, oh dear. Oh. 
it's most of our it's most of our balls now dealt with. Apart from Pen Penster and unfortunately Scolari. Unfortunate. <laughs> very very unfortunate. The wall will get here eventually. It's like a it's like a good analogy of life, to be honest. <laughs> very, very good analogy of life. <laughs> Yeah, I'll spend the next couple of days thinking about my uh, about my GDQ plan. Um, I think my GDQ plan is probably LJ Kaito, LAD, Dead Souls. Yo. <laughs> Probably not Dead Souls. Um, maybe four. I don't really feel like four is a good idea. Um, so I've bitched and moaned about Lost Judgment. I'm definitely bitching and moaning about Yakuza Four. That's for sure. Um, <laughs> this is pretty. Oh, this is the oh my oh my god my eyes Jesus Christ. I was not ready for this. Holy shit. <laughs> My bloody eyes. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't have five this time around. So, we'll see. I hate start speedrunning stuff that isn't RGG games. Or just RGG games. There is actually... I do have a couple of plans for speedrun stuff for this year. Um... If I like it enough, and I'm hoping that I do, and I'm hoping the run is a decent length, I am probably, once we've done a full casual play for a bit, probably going to be uh, speedrunning uh, Live Alive. I'm looking very much forward to that. As I said, somebody did a, somebody's done a good comprehensive set of notes for FF6 Pixel Remaster. Um... Which I've always said I wanted to speed on FF6, so we will see whether I do that or not. Um, would be nice. Would be nice. Stranger Paradise is interesting, considering you can just run past the majority of the enemies in most cases, not the level we got to. <sighs> Although I also was starting to feel the real effects of COVID at that time, so. <laughs> okay. La laughing makes breathing hard. Understood. Can't laugh anymore. Yeah, I can't wait. I I've I know about Live Alive, and I I can't wait. It's it's a genuine classic. Like for people, I I say this again for people who liked um, Octopath. If you liked Octopath, Live Alive is what Octopath wishes it was. Genuinely, genuinely, like genuinely. So yeah, nothing <laughs> is now forbidden. Yeah, pretty much. <sighs> just making sure that I'm just like breathing a lot because like I'm a little, a little winded around here again. So, and beyond your wildest dreams, I can't believe it. And full on fucking OST remix of like orchestral value today. Good God, Megalomania, Megalomania remixed with an orchestra. Oh my fucking God, <laughs> I'm not ready for this. I'm really not. And it's, it's actually stunning, because again, like, COVID has messed up my plans quite badly, because obviously, as you all know... I'll start in 15 seconds, by the way, especially about play if you want to join. Yeah, I really can't do commentary. <laughs> um, we were supposed to have finished Strangers of Paradise, ironically enough, this time last week. Um, I do want to finish that off on stream. Again, I haven't been able to play anything this week so i'm probably going to finish that off on stream that might even be <coughs> excuse me one or two of the streams that i do when i come back because you know speedrunning is stressful where restraints of paradise is chaos so it would be a nice chill casual stream um a nice chill casual stream uh to do you know just as a as a way to like gauge how well i am doing to kind of like come back um so i'm probably gonna do that um i wanted to do ghostwire tokyo 
which I would have started on yesterday if I didn't have COVID. But now, with GDQ submissions open, and me being too sick to finish Strangers of Paradise and start Ghostwire Tokyo, I'm not going to be able to do Ghostwire Tokyo, which sucks. Because um, I like the vibe of that game. It looks fucking neat. Um, it seems to be quite, like, quite divisive in a lot of places, which is interesting. Um, but I love the vibe of it. It looks fantastic. Um, so, unfortunately, that's going to have to be something that I do on off-stream my own time. Um, the PS version uh, is already out early access. Also, I'm really annoyed. Can I just say, uh, this is going to sound really bad. I'm really fucking annoyed. The fact that I was lucky enough to be sponsored by Square Enix to do Strangers of Paradise. And then all of a sudden, oh, hey, here's COVID. <laughs> Great timing on that one, yeah, fucker. <laughs> Great. Great. <laughs> Great. Um, and don't forget, Chrono Cross is out next goddamn month. Like it's it's close. It's like two weeks. Um, are these obstacles? Oh, they're underneath it. I see. I can't. I can't visibly see this board right now. Oh no. Oh, that's one thing that has really fucked me up with COVID. I should be wearing my glasses. Um. I've had to wear my glasses for the vast majority of this week, um, because it's fucked my eyesight completely. Like, my eyesight that was a lot better all of a sudden just became very, very blurry. Like, it really fucked my eyesight. I, I, I can't describe how badly it messed up my eyes. Like, my eyes are only starting to get better as of yesterday. Um... So I should be wearing my glasses, so, you know, cough, I'll do that real quick, because I can't see, I can't see shit right now. <laughs> I can't, I can't see anything on this map. I don't know if it's just me, but, yeah, that aspect, yeah, I, I got that aspect. It's, it's horrible. It's actually genuinely horrible. Um, but I'm wearing these for most of the week, which has been, uh, slightly frustrating. I usually don't need glasses, I only use them really to read. Um, ooh, this map. What the, what the fuck? Whoa, everyone's bouncing. Everyone's bouncing. What the heck is happening here? Where the heck's the exit? What's going on? I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> I'm so confused. This combobulating marble launcher is definitely living up to its name, that's for sure. <sighs> it blurs together. I'm glad it's not just my eyes, but like, it's a bit, it's a bit weird. Hmm, got the hook again, a good line through there. Oh, I'm guessing that's where our exit is. Yep, that'd be where our exit is. Alrighty. Cool. That's that's a map. <laughs> that's that's a map, I guess. Great. <laughs> All the marbles that have finished are now also in that re-jumping line, because the teleporters bring them back out on the right hand side, so they're just jumping again. I'm not sure how I feel about this. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Marbles go wee. Yeah. <laughs> Marbles just go wee. Um, thank you all genuinely so very much for... For the kind words today and also for the support for the past couple of days. It has been... It's been one hell of a week. It's been... Awful week. It was not... Uh, I said it on Twitter. It was not in my 2022... Bin Who hasn't finished yet? Like... It, it, is there anyone here that hasn't finished? I can't even tell. You can't even tell who hasn't finished yet. Everyone's just going for another round. What's happening? Okay, cool, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> cool, I guess. Somebody just took their time. Whatever. Cold track parkour. That's exactly what COVID is. Exclamation mark play. Um <laughs> Yeah, thank you for thank you for just being like genuinely understanding on like on this week. I again, as I said on Twitter, in the six years that I've been streaming, I have not taken more than three days off the entire time. And this month alone, I took one week off at the start of this month to recharge my energy and stuff like that because I was getting quite burnt out. And now I've had a week off dying with COVID. Fucking great. 
fuck. <laughs> I was doing so well. <laughs> I was doing so well. Oh, dear, dear. But we'll see what happens over the next couple of days. Again, I want to do... <coughs> I want to do LED speedruns to see see if I can close that gap in the short term, but I don't think I can. Um, especially not because, you know, I'm feeling all lightheaded and dizzy. So, I don't think I can handle that for a four-hour speedrun and concentrate at the same time. I also need to look back at the last run I did because I know there's places where I need to double-check some of the new strats with the uh, Illusion route. So... Need to go and do my homework on that as well. No, people haven't figured out the jankiness for settings on an LED PC, so it's still uh, it's still PS5 runs, which ah, it's well, it is what it is. It is what it is. It's a shame, but yeah, it's it's fine. It's fine. I get to do the speed run at least, so I don't I don't mind too much. Um, God, my glasses are so blurry. It's been getting better. I appreciate it. I do appreciate it. Still not, still not fully over it yet. I'm still like, oh, I still need to breathe a lot, which sucks. Um, but as I said on Twitter, a hundred percent. Even if I've got goddamn COVID, we are doing Kaito's DLC on Monday. We are absolutely doing Kaito's DLC on Monday. You will not be able to stop me. <laughs> you will not be able to stop me. So I'm very, very much looking forward to that. Very, very much. I'll give you another 15 seconds exclamation mark play. I hope I'm good enough to stream on Monday. It all depends on whether I burn myself out before I before I come back or not. Um So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna push myself. Knowing that Kaito's DLC is coming, I'm not I'm not pushing myself. Um I want to be as well as I can be for that. Considering, again, we're doing a full playthrough on the day it comes out, which is Monday. And then on the Tuesday, I have to route it, speedrun it, and submit it to GDQ on the same day. So, you know. Great. <laughs> speedrun a life. Um, so excited to be smelling shit with Kaito, same. I'm looking forward to seeing Kaito in a suit and Higashi in an apron. Whoa. <laughs> That's When I saw that image... I started to heal from COVID. <laughs> Fuck. Fucking Christ. Uh, no more laughing. <laughs> Fucking Christ. <sighs> no more fucking laughing. Laughing bad for COVID. What the fuck is this map? My god, I never even looked at the board. What the fuck is this map, man? Oh, it's just this. I thought I thought it was all of this and I got excited for a second. It's just this. That's Well, that's a little less disappointing, but I was gonna say this is disappointing and this is just the map. Hoshino in incognito mode. See, it's the real Hoshino, whereas it was his brother in Lost Judgment, the one that was the womanizing sexist piece of shit. I almost, I almost said that on the, uh, on the picture on RGG's Twitter and I thought better of it. <laughs> I thought, I thought much better of it. But I, I've got plans for this year. Um, we're going to be doing, ooh, this is cool. We're going to be doing a couple of casual things alongside, obviously, all the speedrunning so that I don't burn myself out really bad again. Bet Bob Blip, I don't know where you're going, that's not the way, friend. Um, do that fucking, what the, that the fuck? I lost. I haven't marbled in ages. I don't know how to work maps. Oh god, bingo balls. Um, we're pretty much going to do at least one casual thing every month. Obviously, this month is going to be Strange to Paradise and Kaito DLC. Next month is probably going to be Chrono Cross. Um, I'm very much looking forward to Chrono Cross. I think it's going to be fantastic. Um, I know there was something for May that I have forgotten about, so thumbs up to that. <laughs> Excuse me. Um... Either way, I can guarantee we'll be doing Soul Hackers 2, we'll be doing Xenoblade Chronicles 3, um, Live Alive, 100%, we're going to be doing that as well. Um, there's at least one thing every single month, I'm more excited than I could ever say. Like, this this year's games list looks fantastic, 
Like, actually genuinely fantastic. Is this the way to the end? What the fuck? See, it's very, it's very complex and twisty, but, like, apart from these, like, little elevator bits, you don't really have that much in terms of balls being able to overtake each other. Which I know just happened. Shut up. <laughs> shut, shut up, all right? <laughs> so it happened again just because, you know, I Nick takes a better escalator up. It's like, hmm. Oh, no. Oh, no, I don't, I don't like these kind of maps that much. Like... They look pretty sure, but like the actual chances of getting ahead of certain marbles, like, look at that, you just have one small bad bounce there, and it's just it's it's over. Like Yeah, it's like <laughs> it's, it's not much chance. If they had like more like this, then yeah, but yeah. I love both XE and one and two. I love them both. Oh god, this makes me want to piss. Why would they do this? Why would you do this? away from that <laughs> get me away from that right now let's see who our winners were shall we third place was tony trouble in second place was i nick and in first place go Hoko. congratulations to all of you <laughs> oh dear oh dear oh my fucking nose <laughs> my nose is going on. only one point look at that only one point separating not bad not bad not bad <sighs> oh dear, dear. All right, I think that's probably that's probably gonna be me for today. Again, I know it's gonna be a I know it's gonna be a short stream. Um, but I am coming back from COVID, and I don't wanna I don't wanna push myself that hard. Um, especially again with obviously GDQ submissions this week that I'm gonna somehow have to work on. Um, and obviously Kaito DLC on Monday, which is the most important thing. I'm I literally. It doesn't matter. If, if I have a reflare up of COVID, you will get me fucking dribbling out of my nose, out of my eyes, out of my ears, and I will still do a full playthrough on day fucking one for that game. <laughs> I will I will do it for Kaito, because I love Kaito. <laughs> but thank you all so very, very much. Um, thank you very much for the warm welcome back. I appreciate it. I'll let you know what's going on um, through the week uh, in terms of, obviously, streams and stuff. Um, I'll keep you apprised of what we're doing. Um, I want to do an LED run. I don't think my health is that great for an LED run right now. So what it might be is a K2 run because K2 is the shortest run and K2 isn't that stressful. I love K2 runs. K2 is absolutely fantastic. I absolutely love K2. Um, but once again, thank you all very much for coming today. Thank you for listening to this old man who's still dying of COVID. I'm going to raid over to Argic. Argic's doing some cross codes tonight. Once again, uh, this wasn't my proper comeback, but my proper comeback, I'll let you know in the next couple of days because we are doing the proper comeback before Kaito. And I hope you'll all be here, obviously, next Monday for Kaito because that's going to be a damn good time. Thank you all very much. It's been absolutely wonderful to see you again, and I'm so fucking glad I'm not dead. I'll see you again. Bye-bye. I'll definitely see you again, I promise you.